Hi beauty. Today's video is about the sacred pause. The sacred pause is a happiness strategy developed by the Buddhists. Thank you, Buddhists. And whether you're Christian, an adherent of Islam, Hindu, in the world of business, we call it best practices. It's okay to adopt best practices from other businesses because they clearly work. And even though I self-identify as Christian, I've learned to lovingly receive the best practices of every major world religion and philosophy. The ancient Stoics of Greek taught a lot of beautiful timeless wisdom that I graciously receive. This little tidbit, well, I don't want to say little, this great and grand tidbit of wisdom given to us by the Buddhists, the sacred pause, is an amazing happiness tool. It's an amazing happiness strategy. Generally, it's developed through meditation, but you can develop it through any mindfulness practice. Just being very mindful as you eat your food, very mindful as you spend time with your children, as you're in service to others, just be there. Really notice, look into their eyes, connect. Don't let your mind drift off into other places. And the purpose of the sacred pause is to give yourself the gift, the ability to question your own thoughts. Because when you're not fully aware of your mind, you think you are the mind. You think you are these thoughts. You get so lost in them that there's no separation between what you're thinking about and who you are. But when you develop the sacred pause, it actually gives you this amazing tool of being able to hit pause on your thoughts and question them. And how is that useful? Well, for example, you're sitting here thinking recriminating thoughts about how horrible you are or how horrible your partner is or how horrible your work associate is. And the sacred pause allows you to hit the pause button and question that thought. Are they really horrible? Or are you just in a bad mood, sweetheart? Are you hungry? <laughs> You know, maybe there's a deeper issue and the sacred pause, you know, you hit pause boop, on your thoughts and then it might be, wow, this situation is actually more messed up than I'm acknowledging and I do need to do some deep soul searching here. So I'm not saying that the sacred pause is always in one direction towards like, oh, everything's fine. Sometimes it's, this is a real issue. You got to address it. And that's okay too, because either way it's improving your life. It's either helping you let go of stuff that's not true or go deeper into areas of your life where a little bit of genuine pondering and observation would do you some good. So there's no downside. There is no downside to the sacred pause. I'm gonna go through a couple more scenarios just to, if you're anything like me, it helps to have a couple examples to drive home the message. You know, you're driving down the road and the car in front of you is going really slow and you notice white hair and you, and you start thinking this thought, man, old people, they drive so slow. I wish they'd get off the road. Pause. Now I'm going to look at this with some compassion. This person has every much of a right to be on the road right now as I do and they have a right to drive however they want to drive. And when you get older, your reflexes get a little slower and it's wise to drive a little slower to give yourself more time. And I'm going to be there one day and my grandma might be there right now and I'm just holding space and love for you, grandma. I'm going to give you a respectful distance and I am going to chaperone you wherever you're going. I mean, not literally, but taking that, that, that generous and actually more true and authentic perspective is good for your happiness. It's good for your psychological and physical health because it's lowering your cortisol levels. So if we're going to look at it in mechanistic scientific terms, the sacred pause is about lowering your cortisol levels, which decreases inflammation in your body, literally makes you healthier, literally makes you happier. So 
our challenge activity for today is practice having a sacred pause. If it's really, really tough for you, you might want to implement a meditation practice. There's great apps out there like Insight Timer or Calm app that can teach you the basics of meditation. You don't even have to do meditation. I mean, I think it helps, but just being very mindful can be its own meditation practice. So that's our assignment today. Just be really present in the moment. Pay attention to your thoughts. Hit pause. Right now, conceptually create a pause button in your mind. Just decide it's there and it's there. And get really good at hitting the pause button. Beep. And questioning the thought. Especially if it's a thought that's hurting you or wishing ill towards yourself or others. Especially if it's a shaming, negative, hateful, hurtful thought. Hit pause. Beep. And rethink that thought. Love you.